I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all. But do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits, and... kablooey. Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Whoa. Oh, wait. I was trying to do some testing. Now, I think it kind of looks better now. Stop fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. I was trying to set up the game. Um, Laffy said, may I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- uh, <laughs> What's going on? Wow, this is we scary. We're discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on now. Like a wife he wants to leave, but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is... A daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. <laughs> right. I don't know, sometimes these guys just make the mess. <laughs> For me, again. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology, so maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. <laughs> My bo 
book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Fidel? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Melio Dacian's script? You recognize Melio Dacian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the era of darkness. The era of darkness? You're referring to the dark period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know. Oh, let me just find a friend. All worked up over an old fuck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. We received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're onto us. Quickly, hide in my house. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too. Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an omega elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. Oh, what? If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Fidel. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. Wait, we can actually do. Okay, I need to. Wait, I... no, this is not TNT. I think I can just cook it right now. This big storm came and swept me out to a class four island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then 
The water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary, I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes one through three have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, class four administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want. But no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class IV administrative zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey. But I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna wanna be prepared. Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Rorg Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck! If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! I you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> And you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <laughs>
Wait a minute. Okay, looking in the corner up. The little guy and... Oh yeah, I think that is the samurai blacksmith. <laughs> they are fishing. So we can go here. Although I think... Actually, let me see. No. So, are we supposed to go to the island or...? I don't know, I feel this zone feels like a side quest. I think this also is what we want to go. Hmm. Yeah, why not? If nothing happens, I guess I can just go to the soy. Okay, this feels like a bus here. Oh boy, I don't like that. Did I save? Okay, quick save. Is that a fighting arena of some sort? I don't see any demons around. Look! There's something spewing out of the middle! I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory! Oh. Thanks for that. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits. Hey, 
Oh, he's over, over. I thought he's gonna go until I can. <sighs> Looks like we won't be joining the party. I can see why this place is the stuff of cautionary bedtime stories. Not to mention why the Abbey's keeping way the hell away. We shouldn't let our guard down. But this place could still be a good chance to hone our combat skills. Indeed. Most everything we've bought here seems to follow a pattern. This is a good place for tactical training. If we ever end up on another island like this one, we should probably come prepared for the kinds of enemies we'll face. I guess this is gonna get updated with the uh, every so often. Okay. But. I got upgrade to Master Sensor, so after a second we're gonna go back to the ship. It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all wow. I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh, well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... Right then? Huh? Magilu, quit giving Loffy set confusing thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. Uh, hi, wait. What? <laughs> the Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Uh... Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Solitoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. 
Do you know who is talking, right? Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything, and everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... <sighs> all I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so, I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. Oh, we make a stop before. Okay, hope that nothing else is gonna come up. Oh, I see a squirrel in the map.